your boy, t 23 Alright man, it's your boy t 23 and we're back with another video now today. We're gonna be doing World Defenders. I'm not gonna lie, I went in, I failed my first two attempts. I did! The new mythology boss, I couldn't even get past wave 7 for the first two attempts. But, I found a strat that officially works and I beat the boss. So, we're gonna go in with my strat now. I do have a couple Robux Towers. If you don't have any Robux Towers, I'll tell you a couple replacements that might work. But, there's no guarantees on a free-to-play way to do it yet. Now, if you guys haven't hit the like button, subscribe if you do, and click that bell to get notified when I'm uploading, streaming, doing anything on the channel. It'll let y'all know, man. But let's get it. So, the Towers, for some reason, the UI is not loading for me. So, we're just going to jump into it. But, yes, the strat I have... Um, is gonna be going in with skeleton beast now if you don't have skeleton beast i heard Cerberus is a way better replacement for it i like skeleton beast because his range helps it a lot for me but if you don't have skeleton beast then use Cerberus. now Cerberus, if you don't have him you gotta get him in the crate i'm sorry but you gotta get him in the crate now if you don't have Cerberus, you could try to save for nutcracker i heard nutcracker is working pretty well for some people but you need to have a tower to place down right at the beginning this map is incredibly tough and obviously if you're watching this you know it's tough because you're here to see how to beat the map right now i'm gonna put let's rejoin real quick let's rejoin because for some reason sometimes this happens where there's a loading issues but no so if you guys haven't also go check out my recent video on the crew i did a road trip from one side of the united states to the other in the new bugatti please go check that out i know you're here for world defenders but if you support me and you support the World Defenders content, then go check out my other content, please. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate it. Whoa, that is cool. A little speech bubble? No, no! But, no. Um, I did manage to beat the boss. It was really, really hard. The boss has 4 million HP in solo. But I feel like a ton of you guys are going to struggle on this map. It's incredibly tough. And it's not easy, man. It is not easy at all. So, I'm going to be using Skeleton Beast. I'm also going to use Hercules. Hercules is so good for this map. It is absolutely phenomenal. Now the UI wants to load. Y'all can see my load down below. I'm also going to use Night Prowler. Now, if you don't have Night Prowler, the reindeer might work. The free gift from Christmas just might work. Now, there's no promises down that. I haven't tested that yet. We are possibly going live tomorrow, so stay tuned. We'll try to do a whole free-to-play strat tomorrow and see if we can get something set up for you guys. So stay tuned. I might be going live around lunchtime unless things change. If I don't go live tomorrow, it's because we're also trying to work on getting a new PC. And if I don't go live, that is why. Now we're going to be going to Olympic Heights. Enter the Olympic Heights and defend against the powerful God of War, Ares. Now I didn't get his pet on the time I beat it. I just beat the map, so we're going to go in with the exact same strat. Now, I recommend using the Gold Panther weapon if you have it. It is better than mine, but I personally just like using my weapon. So, I'm actually using a harder weapon on myself. So, and making it harder for the beginning. Now, you're going to need to shoot and do a ton of shooting. All the shooting you can right now. You saw where I placed my tower. You're going to need to do a ton of shooting here. You're going to need it also for the extra money. Come on. There we go. And we gotta rush. Get him down real quick. Just like so. We're gonna help out. There we go. Now we need to get a Hercules down. We desperately need to have a Hercules put down. We're gonna get paid soon from the wave changing. So stay tuned for that. You guys see? We are gonna put down ourselves a Hercules. There we go. There we go. Now, Hercules' attack speed is incredible for this. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's going to help out a ton. Trust me on this. And we're going to delete him. I'm going to put him right there. Put him right there. Trust me, it works out very, very well having the middle covered also. Because there's three tracks. And they kind of switch around the tracks in a way that they, the routes that they go. So, I am going to get down a... Another Hercules right there. Just like so. Now it's because this guy comes through the Cyclops, 
is what makes this really, really hard for you guys. It's not like this is easy. It's meant to be incredibly difficult. And I love that this is a very hard map. It's it's finally something I wasn't able to beat on the first try, you know what I mean? So this is going to be very, very good for you guys. Now, I don't want to delete this guy yet just until we're able to get some more damage down. Uh, we need to get one of these guys upgraded big time because this guy comes through too, the Pegasus, which we're going to end up killing either way. Um, but Pegasus does mad damage. If it gets through. Come on. There we go. We got big time upgrade on him. Please tell me you got him. Might take damage. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. We're going to put that one right there. I'm also going to put a second one of these up here. Yes, sir. Now, should be okay. Should be alright. The moment we're at right now. There we go. We're putting a little bit of damage on there. Now, it's going to be really, really hard to get through this next section. Put that down to help out with the quick damage. Just to get some very, very quick damage down. Okay. Let's get this guy upgraded. Wait, we already upgraded him? Okay, that's clutch. Boom. There we go. Now he's upgraded. He's also going to have some range to reach over here to the right. Need to get this guy upgraded. I really need to move this guy. I don't want to keep him back here. I kept them four up here. There we go. This guy has a lot of health. Okay. Come on. Gonna upgrade him just for now. Just for now. He's going to do that extra damage big time. We might take some damage here. Whew. Took a little bit of damage there, but it's okay. There we go. Here we go. Got another upgrade down there. Hey, man, if I got to put down... Yeah, dude, I'm not taking that damage. I'm not taking that damage. Not one bit. You are crazy if you think I'm taking that damage that I don't need to. There we go. We upgraded two guys at the front. Which means I can now... Move him up front. Let's get that upgraded. Let's get down Night Prowler. Like I said, if you don't have Night Prowler, just use something different. Like the reindeer might work. The snow, like the reindeer one that you guys got for free in the crate, it just might do you guys justice. There we go. Now I didn't take damage my my last win. I I had these place up here the way they are now, but these were on the corners here. These were on all four corners. 65 for that upgrade. There we go. Okay, that one's on the 55k upgrade. That one's on the 55k upgrade. Need to get this one on 65k. There we go. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. Now they have a new a new enemy i don't think it was on any of the other maps you can correct me if i'm wrong but they have an enemy that comes out and it's called the royal griffin it is super dope looking i'm not gonna lie it's an incredible looking tower or enemy i guess it'd be really cool as a tower bro like some of these enemies i really wish we can get as a tower because they're so cool looking the designs and everything are phenomenal i'm gonna put the 60k upgrades on these because they, they do a lot of damage Probably like skeleton beast does an incredible amount of damage. Super amazing tower. Now, like I said, if you don't have skeleton beast, use another beginner tower. So Cerebrus is a great replacement for that. If you don't have skeleton beast, and everybody says skeleton beast is not better than Cerebrus anyways, or however you pronounce it, uh, the three-headed dog dude. Yeah, that guy is apparently regardless better than him anyways. I prefer skeleton beast. Don't know why. I just do better with him. Don't know why, but. Don't ask me. His his first set of upgrades are a lot cheaper. So 
maybe that's why but no for some reason I just do better with him so I don't know don't ask me man don't ask me that's just how I play I like him anyways I like him better he looks cooler to me now let's see what we can do here gotta get a couple more upgrades going gotta max all these towers and we can get some orc beast down like I said most of my team you guys can get in the crate so skeleton beast just get cerebrus done that's a replacement for that Hercules is also in the same crate get Hercules and then uh, a replacement for night prowler this the uh, the reindeer dragon might be a great replacement for that I don't know haven't tried that so that's three towers that you guys could replace that are our free towers now if you didn't get the reindeer dragon I'm sorry you guys should have been on for Christmas that's not my fault it, it, that, it was a, a great free tower to get now another tower to replace um, Orc Beast well actually Orc Beast is also in the crate so everything else is in the crate guys it's not like it's not in the crate I sold him just so I can move him up I didn't like him being back the way he is like I might do that with the, the one tower too Okay. Let's go. There we go. Everything here is maxed out, man. Just gotta max these two. Just like so. There we go, man. Now I am moving up a little bit closer because I want to see the one. Yeah, like this dude right here. Cere Cerebrus. I said Cerebrus. Why did I say Cerebrus? But yes, most of my team, you guys are able to get in a crate. You get what I mean? Like, 90% of my team, you guys can get in a crate. One of them was from the Christmas event, so it was free anyways. So, there's a whole free-to-play team right there to be able to beat this. Now, if you don't have um, Work Beast, use a God Tower. Perfect replacement. It's not like I needed a ton of money right now. Like, look, I am on a million... I don't need to have any more really placed down at the moment, but I'm going to. Obviously, it's going to make this a lot easier. Oh, let me run up. Look at this. Look at this thing, man. The Royal Griffin. Tell me this doesn't look incredible, man. It got three ha It has 300,000 health, which is insane to me, man. I'm gonna put this one here because obviously the range is insane. So yeah, that's that's the one benefit when it comes to Orc Beast is its range is off the charts, man. But that is exactly how I did that. I am gonna do that because it's really irritating me how off it is. Now I know it probably doesn't matter, but it's whatever. It's bothering me. I'm gonna fix it. You would think I have OCD. I probably do, to be completely honest. There we go. That looks so much better to me, man. So much better. But that's basically it. That's how you beat it. This is the only lineup I need. I don't need to do anything else. But look at this map, man. This map is absolutely incredible. I just think it looks so good. I think what they should have done, though, on the outside here... Is it should have been grass grass would have been incredible for the outside and maybe some grass hills right close up would have been super dope or a desert you know what i mean but i think they got enough deserts man look at that 350,000 health is actually what the royal griffin has so yeah solo wise the boss comes out and he has four million health let's hope that we end up getting him as a pet this time let's hope we do get him as a pet i think it'd be super dope Wave 20, man. Here we go. Final wave. Now, this map is very quick, so it's probably the... This is probably the new best map for you guys to grind for gems, XP, and coins. It's probably that best map currently. Obviously, when they come up with a new map, the harder maps in the game, the hardest ones are always the best ones in the game to grind. So, if anybody's wondering, what's the best way to grind coins or gems? Let them know in the comments. Let them answer those comments for me, guys. Answer those comments for me. Look at the boss. Look at how dope Ares is, man. 
4 million health. Listen to the noise, man. This would be such a sick pet, too, bro. Look at all the beams on him, man. The boulders, everything. They're throwing everything they got at him, man. They're throwing everything they got. We should be able to beat this, even if he goes straight. Even if he goes straight, it don't matter. Oh, he goes straight regardless. Does he only go straight? I'm curious. If you guys have played him and he's won any other routes, let me know. Because when I did beat him last time, too, um, he did just go straight. He went straight through. But, nah. It's a wrap. You know what I feel like doing? Let me delete two of these guys. Hey, we end up getting an egg. But yeah, we got 570 XP, 112 coins, and 81 gems. Now, I don't know if this is the absolute best map right now. I think that's a good amount of XP. I think it's probably the best map to grind XP. But no, I hope this does help you guys out, man. I'm over here spitting on myself. Golly. No, but yeah, I hope this does help you guys out. It's incredible map. I love the design of it. It was really, really hard to figure out a strat at the beginning. My first couple tries, I really failed, man. I absolutely failed. And it just was not going my way. But we ended up figuring it out, man. So like I said, your best strat if you don't have any Robux. You have no Robux towers. Your best strat is going in with Cerebrus, um, Hercules, Orc Beast. If you had the Reindeer Tower, then amazing. That would be a perfect replacement. If you don't have the Reindeer Tower, instead of placing the Reindeer down at the beginning when you do, maybe try putting down Orc Beast. Or even instead of the Reindeer... Try using the Cyber Scorpion. Cyber Scorpion is really good for something like this. Like helping you guys out back and up towers. Cyber Scorpion is super cheap and you can spam them down a lot. They're spawn time short. It might be a really good map to use that. I know that one of the uh, um, one of the Egyptian maps you needed to use him. It was just super uh, useful strat strategic wise. But go check out my recent video. That's it. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's live stream if we go live. Have a great night, man. It's your boy, T-Boost23. I'm out, man. Peace.